Hi, I am Dr. Puneet Jupalli, vascular surgeon. Today we are going to talk about varicose veins. So varicose veins has become a very common problem nowadays. A lot of people are suffering with it. So we are going to discuss what exactly are varicose veins, why do they come, what are the symptoms and signs and what is the treatment nowadays. So varicose veins can occur in any of the any person, either young, old, depending upon different uh, problems that they are facing. So the varicose veins are dilated veins in the legs, which we can see visibly outside. So these are called varicose veins. So why do they come? So generally what happens is whenever you use your blood, which comes from the heart, the arteries get it. And once it is used, it has to go back to the heart, go back to the lungs, get purified and then get pumped back. So the way the way the blood goes up is through the calf. The calf muscle acts as a second heart, pumps the blood back to the heart. So what happens is the veins allow only unidirectional flow of the blood and there are different valves which stop them from coming back. So these valves when they get damaged, they cause varicose veins. So what are the symptoms of varicose veins? They are visibly dilated veins which are visible and then you have nighttime cramps and then whenever you're standing whole day, you can see visible veins outside. Slowly they can turn into bluish discoloration. Sometimes a clot can occur and then there is a chance of venous ulcer as well. So who gets them? Commonly the gender which keeps getting it is females. Even men can get it. But commonly women are more prone to it. And especially the hormonal disturbances like pregnancies and you have PCOD, PCOS and men who have long standing hours, standing hour jobs and also familial history is also present. So if your parents have it, there's a high chance you might get it. So how exactly to prevent it? So have an active lifestyle whenever you're sitting, raise your legs and keep them above the ground level. Also, when you're lying down, you can put the legs up. Exercising, maintaining a healthy weight can prevent these varicose veins. If you get varicose veins and if you have them, there are different treatment modalities available. So once we get a color Doppler done and it confirms that the valves are damaged, then there are different treatment modalities which can be applied. One of them commonly used nowadays is called varicose veins endovenous laser uh, ablation. So what exactly we do is we make a small hole into the vein, we pass a guide wire and then we pass a sheath. From there we pass a small laser fiber which goes up till your siphonofemoral junction, two centimeters away from it, you park your fiber, you give tumescent anesthesia which is like you give a fluid right on top of the vein so that it doesn't burn the skin and the heat is absorbed from the laser fiber. So this is used most commonly and the results are also quick. Next day morning, you can get back to your work. Nowadays, apart from that, whenever you have superficial veins, we give foam sclerotherapy and there's a newer modality called glue therapy. So you can use glue therapy, which is more painless and you can get back to the work on the same day. So this is more uh, prone to anaphylactic reactions. So depending upon your uh, history that you have any allergies or not, we'll take a call what exactly to do. Apart from this, there is called some, something called compression stockings, which provide support to your veins. And if you use them, Generally, the chances of you developing the more serious disease is prevented. Even after surgery, we would suggest you to wear stockings for next three to six months. Apart from that, reduce your weight and maintain healthy lifestyle. Thank you.